Hello, thank you for joining me today as we bring to you two semi-automatic 22 caliber handguns. The Ruger SR-22 and the Walther P-22. Both of these pistols have polymer lowers with aluminum slides. They both come with two 10 round magazines and a couple choices of back straps to fit uh, various hand sizes. These pistols are extremely similar in all aspects, from design, function, to takedown, all very similar. The Walther, however, has a completely different style of mag release, as I'll show you here. It doesn't have a button, it has a lever. This lever right here slides down and the mag pops out. So a little different functionality between, sorry, I dropped my mag on the ground, that wasn't intended. Get that clean. So a little, uh, a little different there. Uh, now I will say that the Walther is a lot more difficult to reassemble after cleaning. In fact, they supply a little tool to help with that process. The Ruger is a little easier to reassemble, but other than that, they're very, very similar. Um, now let's go ahead and shoot both guns. And then after that, we'll discuss the differences, likes and dislikes, if there are any, and complaints if we do have any. So let's go ahead and shoot them. My son Hayden's gonna demonstrate that process for us. Let's go ahead and start with the Ruger, son. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the Walther. You'll have to insert the mag in that one since I dropped it. Okay, you having a problem? Yeah. Go ahead and recock it. All right, go ahead and try again. again. Try again. Oh, I see what's the problem. Okay, go ahead and set the gun down. Okay, so as you can see here, this demonstration proved a point that some of these semi-automatic guns are a little tough for smaller hands to operate. Hello, thank you for joining me um, as we uh, continue this review of the semi-automatic 22 pistols, the Ruger SR-22 and the Walther P-22. If you watched the previous video, you noticed that uh, we had a little trouble when my son was shooting it. So we went ahead and investigated what was the problem. I went ahead and tested a couple rounds. I shot the gun, a couple different um, grips. I was holding it real light, trying to see what was happening. Then I had him go ahead and fire it, and we determined it was the way he was holding the gun. So it all led to the grip, which was my, wasn't my intention in that video, but I'll go ahead and describe, show to you what was happening. So as you can see here, uh, when my son was shooting the Ruger, actually both guns, but I'll should demonstrate on the Ruger, he wasn't going all the way up to the back strap. So that was allowing a ton of movement and the slide wasn't working. So we went ahead and uh, tested that and got his hand all the way up there. He fired both guns with absolutely no problem. So that goes to show you that with these guns, it is critical with your grip if you're a smaller hand. So I'm going to go ahead and fire both of these guns and show you, demonstrate how well they shoot uh, now that we've got the proper grip and the proper uh, shooting technique on these. All right, so I'll go ahead and start off with the Ruger SR-22, and then I'll go ahead and shoot the Walther P-22 next. All right. See, no problems. We'll go ahead and go up with the Walther. And like I said earlier on the Walther, uh, a little bit different with this gun. Uh, I guess this is mainly a German gun thing. The mag release is right here. 
that drops the magazine versus a button on the side. So biggest difference with the Walter. Other than that, they function exactly the same. We'll go ahead and fire this now. There you go. As you can see, fairly accurate. Actually, I'll, I'll upgrade that. It's extremely accurate for a small 22 caliber pistol. Extremely easy to shoot. For an adult, you can shoot it one-handed, offhand, very easily. Very fun, easy gun to shoot, but as we've proven today, the key is in the grip. You must get your hand all the way up in there, up in that back strap, and have a nice firm grip. I was even holding it earlier. I had my hand up in there, but I was holding it just like that, and the gun functioned flawlessly. So, as we've learned today, it's all in the grip with these little semi-automatic 22s. Uh, but as you can see, both guns, exceptional. I really can't say one over the other. Um, right now, I, I think my son's pick is going to be the Walther. Uh, I believe my father's uh, chosen that one. So, so far between us, we got uh, two votes for the Walther, and I'm undecided. So, both very good guns, both um, high quality and excellent for the price. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I'm glad we were able to clear up that issue. Thanks again, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much.